Well, we're here in front of the Zenith factory, and one of the nice things about being on an airport is we never know who's going to show up. And uh, this beautiful airplane uh, built and flown in by Bob Clark uh, uh, this morning here at the factory uh, showed up. So uh, we're, we're fortunate to have Bob here with us, and uh, I'll have uh, Roger talk with Bob a little bit about the project. And uh, if you would, show us this beautiful airplane. Well, Bob, when did you start uh, your whole venture building the, the cruiser? 2017. 2017. Yeah. And then you, you and your brother came to the rudder workshop. Yep. Yeah, I remember built, that yep. still. I do remember that, yeah. And yeah, built the rudder, and then from then on, you uh, started building your cruiser. So go ahead and uh, tell us how, how you started your project. Well, we did the tail, tail feather up here, got the horizontal from you, took it home with us built that, got the rest of it from, drove up the, from the St. Louis area and picked up the crate with my truck and trailer and uh, been working on it for three and a half years. Now, if, if you notice, it's a very polished, shiny aircraft. Now, I remember doing tech support with you through the build. You did your polish it a little different than I would with an airplane. You polished your skins before you installed them on the airplane, or like the wings, correct? You screwed them on down the to wings, the table. I fitted everything, right? Pleco, took them off, screwed them down to plywood, and then polished them. Do it them. outside. <laughs> it's a mess, and then polished them outside. The fuselage I did polish in the uh, workshop. It's a mess. You don't want to do that. Right. The fuselage was already built when I started polishing, and uh, it's better if you can do the individual panels and then rivet them on and just buff them up a little bit. Well, it sure does show. And then uh, you do have the Corvair engine. Corvair. And I remember it was our open house, probably, what, 15? 18, you were here in, with William Wynn yep. working on your engine. And we uh, fired them up. Yeah. Broke it in there. Broke it in here, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, so you've been flying, so you haven't been flying through the whole building of your aircraft, no. have you? When's the last time you've flown? 2002. 2002. So. When did you start flying again? Oh, two months ago. Two months ago. So you got checked out and trained checked in out, got with the instructor. Annual, got everything, got it all back up to speed, and he cut me loose, and we're flying the crud out of it. Ex ex excellent, excellent. Yeah. So you're based in St. Charles. St. Charles, So your flight field. path for the phase one is in Mexico, Missouri. So you well, made sure you could come to the factory. They actually uh, gave me from St. Charles to Mexico to Vichy Rala. All right. Vichy over to Festus and Festus back to Washington and Washington back to uh, St. Charles. Wow. I've got the whole uh, Midwest of uh, Missouri basically. <laughs> I got spoiled. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So you want to show us anything unique different than any other cruiser or you want to show us their panel? Yeah, you can show the panel there. You notice everything is just very polished, very well. The vinyl stickers on the cowling. Um, the wheel pants are painted. The seats, they look like a 1950s uh, hot rod car. Yeah, yeah. You know, I had it looks learn nice. How, I actually uh, learned how to sew and I uh, had a, <laughs> got a uh, uh, old antique upholstery machine that my uncle had. And I'd learn how to sew. You can learn anything on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a neat thing about, you know, and that's something, you know, obviously you've learned is, you know, building an airplane, you're going to learn a lot of new oh, things, yeah. aren't you? And yeah. if you're open yeah. to learning, it's a great opportunity for that. Yeah, this is my second that. time around. I right. did build an Avid Flyer and had a couple certifieds before that. Right. But, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a nice, nice panel. I see you've got some uh, nice uh, guard there on for... For the yeah, blind, a little sun shield. Sun shield yeah. on there. That's awesome. Yeah, I made that, put that on there and helps. And I see you've got the nice visors as yeah. well up here. Aren't those nice? Yeah. The rosin visors. Yeah, yeah. I did. Very uh, nice. You know, with the stimulus checks, you had to blow some dough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. No, that's a nice, nice yeah. airplane. You've done a really nice job on it. So you obviously you've got the dual, dual, dual stick, stick option in here. It has yeah. a quick disconnect. Yeah. Quick disconnect. Yeah, right. I found out that I can't get in this thing. I'm getting too old uh, to crawl over them. I just yeah. turned 70. Yeah, that's a that's the one downside with the dual sticks yeah. is oh, getting your knee across. So you with the disconnect, that no, no, that's a smart idea of yeah. how to do that because mm -hmm. you. will that's overcomes the one uh, downside of the dual sticks right. that way. So yeah, because uh, like I said, uh, some people can crawl over them. I can't. Yeah. yeah. Well, we sure hope to, uh, you can make it to our fall open house and you can show it off to all yeah, our other I'll customers, the, potential I'll customers. Be here for the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. No, that's that's neat because again, this airplane was born here. You started on the rudder here, and then you did the engine here as well. So that's, yeah, we broke it. So in. right. So yep. that's really neat mm -hmm. that. Uh, 
this uh so that's really coming back to the homecoming because that's yep. coming back to where this airplane originated yep. from and of course yeah, we'll you're not be too back far here away in, what's it september or august yeah september yep I'll yep well bob you did a great job thanks for sharing Thank some you. of that with you with us and uh we look forward to seeing you around here a little bit more oh, on a yeah. regular I'll, basis I'll and uh, i know roger's you. gonna have you're gonna have to take roger up for a flight sometime no, in I this will. airplane and uh, we well, can get a feel for the cruiser well, we'll with see if the... he can uh, fly it. You yeah, know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roger's kind of sketchy. That yeah, way. yeah. He doesn't like to fly much. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you.